Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about targets of executioner cash space. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, in the previous lectures, we have seen that executioner cash space is the cash space that mediates the breakdown of some proteins and continues apoptosis so this is very uh, important to know that which are the targets of this executioner caspases so the first one is the focal adhesion kinase that is called fac this is focal adhesion kinase so this is the target of the executioner caspase so what is this fac and how its breakdown affects the apoptosis mechanism so we can see here this is the plasma membrane of cell 2 in this cell the apoptosis will continue and this is the plasma membrane of cell 1 now we can see that cell 1 and cell 2 these are sticking to each other because of the cell adhesion so cell requires to be adhered always because one cell gets some signaling from the neighbor cell so this adhesion is very much important for the survival of a particular cell now this fat protein it actually helps in this adhesion mechanism so this is a cytosolic protein this helps in this adhesion mechanism now executioner caspase what it does when it is activated when it is activated uh, by intrinsic pathway or ex uh, extrinsic pathway by uh, tnf induced pathway or fas induced pathway whenever it is activated it inactivates this fac and when the fac is inactivated it will disrupt the cell adhesion so if the cell adhesion is disrupted the cell is no longer be able to survive next target of executioner caspase is lamines so lamines are some proteins which are found in the nuclear membrane so we can say this is the nucleus and this is the nuclear membrane so in this nuclear membrane the lamines are associated so these proteins are actually required uh, to keep nuclear membrane intact so this lamines are targets of the executioner caspase so when the executioner caspase is activated they will cleave lamines and when the lamines are broken down they will mediate the disassembly of nuclear lamina and when the nuclear lamina is disassembled there will be the shrinkage of nucleus that is very much dangerous so the cell cannot survive and uh, next target of executioner caspase are uh, cytoskeletal proteins so executioner caspase when it is activated when it is activated what it will do it will cleave the cytoskeletal proteins like microfilaments microtubules intermediate filaments these are some cytoskeletal proteins so these proteins are cleaved by the executioner caspases and these proteins these cytoskeletal proteins are very much required to maintain the cell shape to maintain the rigidity of cell so when these proteins are cleaved the cell shape will be distorted and we have seen that when the cell shape is distorted the plasma membrane will be looked like these so these are called blebbing blebbing of plasma membrane so this occurs due to the cleavage of cytoskeletal proteins next target of executioner caspase is endonuclease so the executioner caspase when it is activated what it will do it will activate some caspase activated dnas these are some proteins which are found in the cytosol so from the name itself you can understand that dnas are some 
proteins which can cleave DNA and these are caspase activated because these are getting activated by caspase. So they are called CAT. Now these CATs will be activated and they will translocate to the nucleus from the cytosol like this and when they will be translocated to the nucleus what they will do they will attack DNA and when DNAs are attacked by them DNA will be cleaved by them so the cell will not be able to survive.